With two weeks remaining and the last week before the patch 4.2 update, everyone was giving their all to qualify for the playoffs and have a strong finish in the regular season. With all that being said, let's take a look at the top 5 highlights of week number 9. Starting with number 5. Around 8 minutes into the game of Barrio United Esports vs Naos Esports, BRU was leading 3.5 goal lead and Naos Esports were scalping for kills. They invested 4 people to gank Thipper into the top lane, but what the Jess surprised them as he knew their plan and recalled early. He purchased a teleport enchant and followed up in the top lane, interrupting their engage to Thipper to tower takedown while allowing Cold and Pete to arrive at the scene to help out too. This allowed them to not only deny the kill to Thipper, but also get a 3 for nothing kill exchange and even push Naos Esports top lane as well, resulting to almost doubling their initial gold lead. Running Singe, which uh, with one fling could mean his death, but ultimately BRU was able to get a massive win mid lane. Oh, a very early turn teleport! Teleport incoming. That's, yeah, that's early. But now the esports still aren't going to be getting this tower, right? They are taking so much time. Wraith is taking too much damage from the tower. No they way. To get the tower down, and it's causing them such demise now. Holding to chasing. Senna able to still get that last embrace, but VRU gets two kills. Number four, Z from Thunderdog again demonstrated why his Akali should always be respected. Following the clash at Thunder Top 1 against Rare Atom, he decided to pin Rare Atom down even more by ganking Morty in the top lane as he was farming. Fleeing to Irma for help, they thought they would be safe with a 2v1 situation, but he proved them wrong as he killed both Morty and Irma, forcing Rare Atom to send more reinforcements just to take him down. Thanks so much for them to catch up. Yeah, we go back into this replay. I think Z went in super confident. Yeah, he wanted to assassinate Morty, but a silence knock up for days is enough. When, oh, he was still oh, able God. to get a one for one, actually. So that's fine. Or maybe a two for one. What? Number three. QF16 on the Aatrox is always a sight to see with his confidence and dominance almost every time he gets his champion. During the first dragon contest against Cerberus Esports, and after QF16 took the Rift Herald, he easily stole the dragon from Cerberus Esports while wrecking havoc in the fight, maximizing his DPS onto multiple members, not letting anyone escape his wrath, and even securing a quadrifil at the very end. This allowed them to not only get double objectives, but also win the fight 5 to 1, take the mid lane tier 1 tower down, and increase their goal lead from almost 3,000 to almost 7,000. Infernal's Dragon, they don't think they should, because yeah. FPS already picked up the RH. Yeah, and FPS are already on the way to QF16. You can see he's already on the back. Why one already taken down to half? Oh man, Just damage, like world ender. Oh no, the growl here is gonna get taken down for sure. Ganto trying to do some damage on the back line, but not gonna be enough as the Aatrox picks up the Dragon. Akeno is starting to pop off, but oh my god! Kiel 16 again! Triple kill right now! Genza just still throwing. Oh, oh. Early landing it! Oh man! Genza, please! Get oh something! He doesn't! Kiel 16 says, What are you doing, buddy? Number two. We've always highlighted Yami whenever he shows us his witty Blitzcrank pick, but this time he demonstrated how good he is with the Rakan. Starting the top river fight against Fennel, he landed a three man knockup with Long following up. This forced Fennel to use almost every ultimate and spell defensively just to push them back while trying to kill Yami as a punish. But Yami survived with a sliver of health as Fennel chased him down, putting them in a much more grave position, now being surrounded by Nova Esports with no disengage tools. Resulting to a massacre by Nova Esports with 5 kills to 1 and even a tower dive in the top lane with him again engaging after healing back up. Target here as long as this life of the land to compete for this. Oh! Oh, oh not off H. into the quickness. Danny is gonna be forced to use the Dawning Shell already. Yes, again, with a backstab. Has to be really plan. Should have not been connecting though. He has to walk in towards the members of Fennel. Perfect execution into the Mega Inferno, but that Ooh. is huge here for Nova Esports. And that is already a done fight here for Fennel. That combination is just so good. Two members already fell down. We have Trevor. Lingering down, just recently recalled back into the base, but Acker and Danny, they're, they're nowhere to go. Nova Esports just stove them, got four kills in exchange for just one. And number one, we were greeted by Nova Esports with E, 
Not the champion, but the jungler player that showcased his masterful Lee Sin performance in game number 2 versus Fennel. After Fennel won a teamfight against Nova Esports, they forced a Baron takedown with 5-2 numbers advantage. But Yi had other plans. After being spotted by Ward over the pit, everyone engaged on him. But despite that, he managed to stall, go inside the Baron pit, and steal the objective as the rest of Nova Esports teleports to the scene after respawning, getting a 3-1 kill exchange and denying any possible comeback of Fennel in the game and in the series. Baron, however, they know that he should be around here somewhere. He's in a tri right now. And they're going to be hunting him down. Our Arisen knows now he was able to catch the tailwind or the tail end of that W right there. Yeah, he will be, but Nian can be engaging from the bottom. Oh, he goes into Stasis. Stasis as well. Can actually get taken down. Looks like it's not going to be the case, but they bought enough time for, again, the Baron to reset a little bit. Now they have information. They turn onto Yin. The Dragon Shade is going to be used. That's a good knock off. The Elastin breaks as well. Going to be invested. Can they actually get the Nian. kill onto the Lee Sin? It's a steal again by Yi. Oh, that is just disaster now for Fennel. Now they're trying to play teleports incoming remake and Neon are here. Fennel, they tried. They got the opportunity, but Yin just deleted every chance of bit here of Fennel. And that's going to be it. Did you enjoy the highlights? Make sure to like and share the video if you did and keep supporting the teams as we only have one more week for the regular season before we start the playoffs. And as always, thank you for watching and see you again on the next video.